1130, I have the leftover burger from yesterday. I did not warm up to see if I'm going to like the taste of it. And my leftover bacon. So I'll let you know if I like it not warmed up. Warming it up in the microwave makes it taste horrifying. And maybe it's just because it's been in the fridge. We'll see. All right, it's after four. Um, I'm trying one of the dill pickles. The petite one, they had petite, but they were bigger than normal. I tried one of them to see if that's what's giving me the heartburn all of a sudden. Not like horrible GERD, but the heartburn. Walking around to get steps um, to see if it's that, right? Because that burger did nothing to me. And it tasted yummy this morning, not warming it up in the microwave. Um, so we're gonna find out because it does burn a little bit down my throat and it does have a lot of garlic taste to it. The first ones I was eating didn't taste like garlic, but the last two jars taste like pure garlic. Um, y'all went to Sam's. I did a pickup order, put it in last night. It was supposed to be ready before two. I get there, um, like 2.30, then again, at the latest it'll be three, um, because they seem super busy. They told me it would be set, uh, no, seven. Seven o'clock before it was done. So my butt, don't worry, honey, I'm not facing you. My butt canceled it, went in, and did my shopping. However, there was no meat, so a lot of the stuff I ordered wasn't there. There was no meat. I got the last three bags of the cat food. Um, there was no water, no paper goods of any kind. Um, a lot of the canned foods were all gone. Um, all the fresh fruits and vegetables were almost gone. The freezer department was so empty that they were pulling out pallets and sticking it in the middle to try to restock. The worst part is, it is the first. People get paid. It's a military town. They were prepared. They had extra stock for that. What they weren't prepared for is everyone running to the store because of the um, ports being closed. They did not know about that. Like, they didn't have extra stock to cover that. And we already had an issue yesterday at BJ's before it even had hit. Um, so, so, yeah. Yep, was not expecting how bad it was. Well, y'all got a hidey place. Is this hidey place? All right, it is 7.20. I've made some dinner because this top round had to be cooked tonight. No one wanted it. I've grinded it up to see if I can handle it as burgers. It's way cheaper if I can. Made some more bacon. Was trying to work on the lighting situation, but I really need the other light, which I'm gonna put up in a little bit. Just cleaned it, letting it burn off some of the bacon grease so it can kind of re-season itself. I do that every time cooking just to keep it from rusting. I know this looks like it's rusty on the camera, but it is not. It is not. It's just certain areas get seasoned better than others. So every time I do it, it just gets more and more seasoned. All right, y'all. I might have done a thing. So we went over to Lidl's and I'm taking them back tomorrow. I got me a one more yellow, one more orange mom. It was like $14. And then this afternoon I went to um, Aldi's. And I thought I was about to pay $45 for eight of them because they were different colors than the ones I got. Um, and she's like, tells me the total. I'm like, how much? She says it again. I'm like, I'll take eight more. I go to the car. I'm like, hmm, I still have room. I went back in there four times. Four times. I think I left with 40 of them. Why? Why? Because they were less than $2 a piece. <laughs> you want to sell? Let me show y'all. Look. Okay, they're just sitting here right now. So these are the only colors they had, yellow, orange, and the red. Um, that's why I'm gonna take the other two back and just trade them in for purple because the other place has purple. So I'm putting some here. Some are going right there. Um, then, so these live all year, y'all. Okay, I think I'm gonna clean this out and put some in here, but I'm not 100% sure. We are definitely putting some in here. Um, and I am definitely out in the other area. I have places for all of them, all of them. But I gotta go inside and get the trash out of the house because Dino's hurt his back so bad, he can't, he can't lift nothing, nothing. So that's why the house yard is looking so trashy because 
he's kicking stuff out of the house that needs to go out. And then he gets rained on. And I'm not picking that up right now. It's got fire ants all over it. So our yard's pretty trashy right now. But it will be clean soon. All right, this is my only meal today. It is 7 o'clock. I know. I've just been so busy and not hungry. But I have one half cup lettuce. Um, a little over a tablespoon of mayonnaise because I kind of got heavy handed. Um, six ounces of turkey. A couple of pieces of bacon and two ounces of Kobe Jack cheese. And just now getting hungry. So I'm going to eat it. All right, so I can break it all down perfectly, but why? I could go through my whole entire blood panel, but there's no reason. The reason why is everything is perfectly fine. Everything. Um, today was the heart doctor day. Um, my LDL cholesterol, which I don't really believe in, has gone down. It's 180. Um, it was 199. It's never been over that. Um, my HDL is lower than I want, though. It's 46. I want it at least 60. So I do need to work on that. Um, but all the other ones, all my kidney functions, everything, white blood cell count is normal for the first time in my life. Red blood cell count is at the highest um, where it should be. Like, everything is in normal range. And it's a lot of blood work. Um, my heart doctor did. So, Dr. Barry's right. Doctors don't take blood pressure correctly. My heart doctor always does. So, the blood pressure is always, I believe, his blood pressure. And it was 124 over 80. He was very proud of that blood pressure. Um, it's never, ever been high at his place. My EKG was great. So, they said, see you in a year. And you can get your echo and more blood work in a year. I get it used to have to get echoes every year. My last one was a year ago, I think, a year, maybe two years ago. I don't remember, it might have just been a year ago. But he says I'm good to go, don't have to come back for a year. I am still going to be taking my blood pressure meds until I get lower in weight. I think it was 180s, I was able to go off of it before. Yo, this is horrible, horrible. Okay, hold on, I don't want them to know I'm filming. I gotta get the garbage. These are two story houses, I'll show y'all later, that will be at my window. It is our seventh year anniversary today of being together. Um, and it's my choice what we do, whether we go out shopping or not. It is very hot, I don't know how long I'm gonna last, but mine is pull out some of the dead plants, weeds, and get ready for my flowers. Let me show you what I walk out to this morning and I freaked. That's a two story house and there's a big window looking straight into my porch. It is angled. 100%. 100%. And I don't know how to block that. I finally got a privacy fence to block people down the road. But how, how can you block a two story house? Y'all, I want to do my Oculus out here. I want to feel comfortable out here. I don't feel comfortable with people watching me when I don't know. And yes, you're probably saying, well, they'll probably never watch you. Uh, but it's still, still, when you lived out somewhere where you never had to deal with that before, it's, it's hot. Just saying. Most of y'all probably only lived in cities or something and the country ones. Y'all know what I'm talking about. My flowers have all fallen out. There we go. Got them fixed. But, but, and, and then, and then they haven't got to the second floor on that one yet. But there's one right there. And then there's one, there's one over there. So they haven't got to the second floor yet. Oh my God. Please be nice people. Please don't be far left or far right. Okay. Please, please just be normal. Just don't care about people's politics. Like, be a normal person. I don't care about people's politics. I'm a constitutionalist. Whoever ups, holds the constitution to the highest regards and gives me more of my rights is the person who always gets my vote. Um, and, and so I don't care if you're Democrat, Republican, vote whatever you want. But a lot of Democrats um, don't believe that. I've had a lot of people leave my life because of that. They do not believe that, which is sad. So that's what makes me nervous. 
I want them to be like, don't care about politics and stuff or just, you know, don't care about what the other person votes. Everyone has their reasons for voting on what side of the line they vote for. What matters most to them. What matters most to me is, like I said, upholding most of the constitutional rights. Freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom of right to bear arms, um, freedom to be safe in your own country. So, when other people want to take those freedoms away. But anyways, I'm going to shut up right now and go start pulling some plants. Do that out there. The big. Maybe I'll show y'all once I get out there. Alright, this circle is where I'm starting. We got a lot of the trash up yesterday. Not completely at all, y'all. So much to throw away. Um, but this is where I'm starting. I'm not pulling out the marigolds. Um, we're going to work around them. But that tomato vine and all these other vines and all the grass... That is all going. I'm not pulling out my basil or my banana peppers, which are still growing really well. But uh, let's see what it looks like when I'm done. Let's see how far I get. It's in the 80s. I'm hot. So the bending over, I got really sick. I thought I was going to faint. My blood, um, my heart rate got to 160 um, every time I bent over. Hearing ringing in my ears. And yes, yes, I have pots. No, I can't take any kind of meds for it. Um, so I live with it. I'm like the heart doctor said, my heart's fine. I just have issues. So I'll show you what I did get done. Um, but I'm dead. Probably got a sunburn. That might be a sunburn, y'all. Or I just could be because I almost fainted. Okay. And I have no more strength. I tried to pull out some more weeds. Ain't happening. So, it was hard. I got a whole entire, that whole trash can is full of the weeds that were in here. Um, I can't plant those six right now. That's what made me faint, planting those six. Um, I got to put the lights all back. They all had vines running through them, so I had to take them out. But, this is, this is what I'm doing. I'm doing three and that one, three, and that one, three, and that one, three, and that one. Then I'm hoping to buy some more colors to put in the empty spaces there, there, and there. Um, and I probably will keep the ends for uh, summer flowers or some herbs during the summer or something. I haven't decided. But I did go with this design because I was doing it differently. But I don't want to pull up my banana peppers because they're doing amazing. So we were putting more in here but I really need some for the other areas as well so let's just take a walk why why we look at those houses and I'm putting a gate there I'm putting a gate there so at least when I'm down here no one will be able to see now I can see straight into that person's bedroom but um I tried pulling this grass out I tried pulling that grass out I got this little bit out of this one and I don't have any more arm strength. My arm feels like complete jello. Y'all, I, this summer, I got heat exhaustion one too many times. And I am not reacting well to the heat at all. Like, me and the heat are not friends. I still got to get all the old cucumbers down. But it's one reason I was letting the vines die off. Because, look, they're going to come off so easy. When I was trying to pull them off before, it wasn't happening. But I am too dead to do it now. Dino is out there mowing the yard. Probably going to stick these ones over here. And these are my pride and joy. Yeah, I wished anything I could have found these colors again. But these aren't the colors they have this year. They're not even the same type. Like, the ones I just got looks totally different. I hope they're all the kind that come back, though. Wouldn't that suck? I spent all this money and time planning them. Let's see. I thought they were just all the normal mums. <sighs> yeah, they'll grow back. Sorry. I was reading but they definitely do not look like 
those ones. I didn't even know there were different types. Now I'm going to look them up. All right. Dad and Dino, after we went to Lowe's, and I had to do all the heavy lifting. I'll tell you everything I had to do in a minute. But I'm frying me up some bacon. It's 12 o'clock. I am starving. Um, they all got Thai, but of course, I, that's a no-no. So, bacon's on. Now, last night, I did not make bacon. I was out of bacon. I was hungry. We were watching a show. So, I ate some of this with no issues. So, I had zero issues eating this. All right, it is 1 p.m. This is basically the salad I had yesterday, except I didn't have bacon. So all I did was add bacon. So it's got my six and a half ounces of my turkey meat, two ounces of cheese, one and a half cups of lettuce, one tablespoon of mayonnaise, two tablespoons of pickle juice, um, some dill weed, a couple of these pickles. Now yesterday I did eat about seven of this size pickles throughout the day um, and I put six pieces of bacon in here and I'm starving. It's a much smaller bowl than I normally use um, so it kind of looks bigger than normal but it's actually actually way smaller than normal. All right before I forget um, we went to Lowe's me and my dad and Dino. Dino can't lift anything my dad can't even get out of the little wheelchair electric cart so <clears throat> this is what I had to lift into the cart and then into the truck in a little bit. I got to unlift it, um, like move it. So six, two by six by eight boards, six of those, eight landscape boards, 10 packs of triple Southern fire ant stuff which are almost 30 pounds a piece and I had to do 10 of those um, plus some other um, 10 gallon things of other kind of ant killers and bug killers and stuff like that <sighs> yeah yeah Dina wanted to help but he he can't um, and then I'm having to push that big heavy cart it was a nightmare it was a nightmare um, but I did it I did it and now after I eat in a little bit I'm going to go put it out of the vehicle um, also yesterday I did a lot more I didn't do any more bending but I did a lot and I will show you in a little bit what I did yesterday all right I never eat that much this early and I feel horribly sick now <clears throat> I got overstuffed myself y'all this is my biggest this is my view I hate it. <sighs> One reason I was content living here is because that was what I'm going to complain about for a while. So, sorry. But the owner, the guy who sold the land, did not know this was going to happen because this was against the rules of this area. Um, and he doesn't understand how that happened because he would have never sold the land to them. And so... He felt bad. He came over yesterday to make sure we understood. He went to all the neighbors to make sure everyone knew that he was under the impression that it's not perkable. You couldn't build there. That's why I didn't buy the land myself. Because you can't build on it. And somehow, somehow, they're building on it. Alright, let's see what I did. Look all the dead plants and all the trash. Is all gone. Look at the mowing area. The rest of them that was over there is all gone. But I'm getting stuck. Ah. I'm making a mess. Okay. Now I did have a allergic reaction from getting bit by too many fire ants yesterday so my lungs and throat hurt today really bad <clears throat> um look we put in new flower bed stuff and lights we did this yesterday So now I'm about to plant some flowers, but uh, this was hard work we did yesterday. 
All right, at 7 a.m. was a nightmare. This banging plus way more was going on. Um, Fort Bragg was bombing. Really bad was shaking the house. And helicopters were going over the house for about an hour. And I can't wait for them to be finished because I can't stand. I don't know how anyone lives in a city because noise gives me severe anxiety, panic attacks. I don't feel comfortable. I just, I hate it. And it is, and the cats inside, the cats outside are fine with it, but the cats inside are going crazy. Like they are losing their mind with this noise. It's scaring them to death. Cats outside are just like, eh, whatever. Look at me flowers, y'all. This is crazy. Look, I did it. I did it. Here, I'll show y'all. I did it. So I'm probably going to put one more in the triangles, but I don't know yet. Right now, I don't have another color, and I don't I don't want to mix another color. Um, I kind of did that one backwards. That was supposed to be... Well, it's okay. That's orange. I was trying to do it like that one, but then, yeah, it's all good. And then I'll do one right there when we build another one, which will be a thin one like that for over a year. Okay, well, let me show you what we've done today. Oh, hello, Joshua. Or what I... Dina did the drilling and stuff. I did the digging the holes and putting the poles in because everyone's dead but me. But we hung more lights on this side and this side right here I have to go buy more lights I thought I had another set but I don't um Haley and her friend is on my porch so this is this is what we're looking like right now trying to de-redneckify the place all right let me show you on nighttime this is nighttime And then all the way down the driveway. Yes, it's Christmas all year long. Uh, hiding. Oh, no. oh, the ones that are scared still. Yeah, I wasn't going to eat anything else. It's almost 8 o'clock and I'm starving. So I'm going to eat some bacon that I cooked this morning. Drink water. So I have drink this much water. Um, not today. Um, I drink one and a half of these today and they are one and a half liters. <clears throat> I have been so thirsty, so thirsty working out and sweating in the yard. I am not wanting, um, coffee really or anything. I only had two coffees today. Um, I'm just wanting water. I am taking magnesium again for about three days and I think I'm having silent heartburn from it at night. I feel the burning in my throat um like when i wake up it feels like i have throat strep throat which i know i don't i haven't had that since i was a kid but it's that horrible it's the horrible like that cat got in my throat and scratched it and unfortunately that's what magnesium does but i really need some magnesium i know mine's low um but this video is just super short. Um, I only think it made it 25 minutes even though it was multiple days in it because I've been super busy so I haven't really been recording. Freya, what are you doing back there? Freya? Are you fighting with your towel? But anyways, I am going to let y'all go and... I, I will film more tomorrow because with her fighting with her towel... I am going to be very, very distracted. <laughs> Freya, say goodnight. Freya, say goodnight.